do you feel when you got to come back and voice channel IRL on the Sephora? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a crazy one though, because it's a, you know, it's a different character. It's totally different character. So Brian and Brian were like, we, we want you to come back in the new series, which is great because um, being a part of the Avatar family is amazing and I think the world of Mike Brian. And so they, you know, they kind of, Pitch for the idea of like playing my grandson, which is cool, right? <laughs> it's kind of cool, but it's a little bit weird <laughs> for everybody involved. <laughs> so it's like, uh, all right, they show me some art and like this big, bigger guy, and, like really good looking dude, which is cool. And then we're like trying out different voice voices. Right? This is the thing. If if we did like a live action show and I'm playing Zuko, right? And then I come back to my grandkids, everyone knows it's like, that's Dante Bosco <laughs> playing his grandkids. It's like, oh, that's cool, because he's dressed differently and his hair is done differently. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is voice acting. This is, it's another thing. I'm like, looking at like, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> if you want me to change my voice, then why would, then just get someone else. I, it, it was just, I couldn't wrap my head around what, how this is going to even work. And then, of course, we did all this stuff, like I should be deeper or, well, I don't know, we did all kinds of stuff, and then it ended up just me talking. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, whatever, just, just do it. And I'm like, this is totally, this is, they're probably going to hire someone else to do the voice, because I don't know if it's going to work. And then, the show came out, and then, whenever I turn around and say that one line on the first episode, like, like I'll be there. <laughs> Something crazy. And I like three words and then my Twitter blows up. <laughs> I think it had this, this, the, the, the reaction that they wanted to have and they pulled it off. They pulled off me doing a cameo as my grandson in a cartoon that how do you, how does that happen? <laughs> it still boggles my mind like how they pulled that off. But for me to be one of the original cast members to come and join the new part of the band with new people, like hang out with like Steve and Janet and stuff like that, and Faustino and PJ Burner, like, it's great. Thank you.
consider watching more anime? Yes. What was the first question? Uh, have you ever considered? Are you doing more anime? anime? Oh, have you ever, yeah. Have you ever considered doing yeah, more Yeah, I'd love to do some. It's just, yeah, I, I definitely want, want to watch more. And I can always, I always get a bunch of uh, suggestions on Tumblr about things I should watch and more things. You know, and I hang out with a bunch of anime actors. And so they kind of turn me on to certain things that they're doing. And I just like them as people and as friends and as actors. So of course I want to see their work. Um, and what was the question? I want to do more. But it's kind of weird, you know, they, the anime world is a whole different world. I, I happen, I just do a bunch of voiceover. I don't know how it works out. I'm still, this is thing. I'm like an actor, like a, they call it like VO actors, I'm like a on screen actor. That kind of tripped over somebody and wound up in the voiceover world by like the luck of, I don't know what happened. I do all these poems, right? I do poetry, people know me as a poet, and then I did like a, uh, I, did, I, I did like a campaign for Sprite, like Obey Your Thirst, and I wrote poems for them, and then I did like some stuff for Nike, and then William Morris, like a big agency, picked up my voice, and I was like, handle your voice, so I ended up going with them, Cartoon Network. Created some show that they for me called Kitty Bobo. We did like one episode, and it was kind of it was cool. That's the first cartoon I ever did voiceover, and that's basically playing me as a cat. <laughs> but I was like adopted by two dogs. Weird. <laughs> 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 cat adopted by a dog. Identity crisis. And my name is Kitty Bobo. And I was like, <laughs> I stand exactly like that. Yeah, what's up? I'm like. I'm Kitty Bobo. <laughs> so that show that was this pilot, but that kind of started this whole voiceover thing for me. So even to this day, I feel like when I'm around like amazing voiceover actors like Steve Bloom or like Kevin Michael Rich Long, dude, I'm just like so amazed because I just got lucky to be here to a certain degree. They look at me like, dude, you're a really fine actor. You're you're just here. Shut up. I don't know. So the anime, the anime part, as I'm reaching, finding out, hanging out more anime people, like anime is a whole other division of voiceover acting, and they've been doing all their anime stuff in a different way. It's, it's all kind of separated because of unions and the way things work. And I think anime is cool. I'd love to go to, I'd love to go do some more anime just like go to Japan and stuff like that. But, <laughs> but they're like, no, you want to keep doing the stuff you're doing because you're getting paid more. I'm like, okay. <laughs> But I, I love anime. I've always, uh, growing up, I've always been watching anime and stuff, so I love, I need to watch some new stuff. People just keep telling me I can watch, like, Attack <laughs> Yeah. I need to watch that. Uh, Darker Than Black, I think, is another one I really need to check out. So, I mean, you know, I'll, I gotta watch all that stuff.